Okay, you probably want to know what is the maximum amount of money that you can make in your sales, business development or partnership jobs. Good thing that there is a company called RepU. Uh, they're basically gathering a ton of different insights and data points from sales reps about their companies like salary, how do they like working in that company and they create ratings and they collect all this information in the database and they're allowing people to basically go and like for example if you're changing the job they allow people to go and research the company up front without knowing all the internal things get the feedback from people that are working that company understand if that's going to be a good workplace for them or that's going to be a good position or that's going to be a good team that's a very popular thing among um, like the top sales people in web 2. Uh, if we're talking about web 3 these things really non-existent but i wanted to share with you one very cool graph that's basically help you to understand um, how, what is the maximum amount of money statistically you're going to be making in different organizations, uh, depending on the deal size? Uh, basically, what we can see in this in this graph that there is an average deal size under 10k, 1050, and like 200k plus, and then the rep U score. So this is uh, the score that they give to each company based on different uh, metrics like. The salary, the management, the product that they're selling. Is it easy to sell? Is it hard to sell? And the bigger the, like, <clears throat> the more they're scoring, the easier it is going to be to, uh, like, the better organization that is. So as you can see in this graph that if you're selling under 10K, uh, the maximum potential that you can be making uh, per year as a sales rep is going to be all the way from 194 to $214,000. That's on statistically. If you're making more, that's good. Um, so, but I'm wondering if you guys, majority of you are in the web free industry that are watching this channel, I'm wondering what are your sellers looking like? Probably not like this. If they are like this, congratulations. If they are not like this, then you, you understand that there is, there is another side of the business. In the web two, there is way more money. Web two is way more bigger because web free is super, super small. Like, to be honest, like if you only look at it, like there is not a lot of things that are happening in our industry. Um, People that are selling like 10 to 50, 50 to 100K, you see that the numbers start becoming interesting there, that you can be easily making from 260, like 347, 366. All these, all these numbers that you can see here are the numbers that you can be making if you are coming to the right organization and selling the right deal size. That's it. If you, because imagine that you, let's say you're a great salesperson in your current organization or you're a great BD person in your current organization. Um, only because you're selling to a different market at a diff like at the different deal size will this can mean that you are basically wasting your time with the organization like because if you come to another organization like this one for example let's say you come to 84 90 plus organization and you are selling like 50 to 100k deals you can be making half a million per year easily so if you are making less than half a million per year, this means that there is a there is an opportunity somewhere on the market where if you change the current position and you you find it, you will be making 500k. Now it's up to you to do anything like changing your jobs or ju just you know making decisions. I want you to consider this graph for the future when you're going to be making a decision in terms of uh, salary, in terms of moving to an organization, because this thing is going to help you understand what is the maximum potential of money that you can make. And you can see that 90 plus organizations, probably like Google's, HubSpot and all these things. And if you're selling like large enterprise deals, that's going to be like more, like more than 900K. You can be making 1 million in, in revenue. And that's okay. That's nice. Uh, but this is going to be enterprise deals. This is going to be mid-market and this is going to be SMB. And you can see that in SMB you make, uh, and that, that's, pro that's usually the progression in sales in the career. First, you're selling SMB, you're selling smaller deals. Then you're selling mid-market deals when there's the sales cycle is longer, but the total deal size is also bigger. And then the last one is going to be the enterprise, which, which can take a really long time. Um, and that's a that's completely different thing from like when you compare selling this and when you compare selling this, uh, like 10K and 200K plus. But another thing to say is, it doesn't mean that these guys that are selling enterprise are better than these guys that are selling less than 10K that are selling small deals. Because at the end of the day, what's important here that you have ability to progress in your career and you can be selling what you, whatever you like. It can be a situation when you are very good at selling smaller size deals, when it's more transactional and fast and you like and you enjoy, enjoy that more than selling big, large, complex deals when you basically have to orchestrate and basically dance between different stakeholders in a large, in large corporation for a couple of years to get that like multi six-figure deal closed. 
Maybe some people enjoy doing this. Some people enjoy doing this. At the end of the day, it's all up to you. It's all up to your skill and to your priorities. I wish that soon you're going to see or you already have one of the salaries on your paychecks and uh, you're going to remember this video because there's even more value in other videos. So if you want to improve your skill to sell better or learn more about interviewing tips, how to get to the better organizations, feel free to subscribe to this channel because there's already a lot of value here and there's going to be even more value coming up in the coming months about finding the better organization and uh, getting yourself acquainted with the best best possible offers on the market and going for something that where you where you're going to be feeling that you are a valued professional so stay tuned see you bye bye